I'm headed off to Excel World today. Let's get started with the day. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting vlog. I'm taking you guys through Excel World. Before that, I want to mention today's post notification shout out goes out to Anuradha. Thank you for being part of the community and I'm glad you're enjoying the vlogs. And for a shout out, all you gotta do is to comment down below. Today's vlog is exciting because I'm taking you guys through Excel World. It's been some time since I've been here, so it was nice to revisit here. It was a bit hard to find the entrance, not gonna lie, but somehow, uh, we were pointed as to where the entrance was and we headed off in. First thing we tried here was bowling. I was very excited for this. I'm gonna give you guys the prices as per their website, but just be mindful these are the current prices and maybe by the time you guys visit, uh, it might have changed. So just uh, check with them beforehand as to what the prices are. These are the current prices listed out in their website as of now. For bowling 10 pins, it goes as rupees 900 per person. The bowling area was actually really nicely set up and it was very enjoyable to do bowling here. I'll run you through how the website describes this place as well. It says that it's the only 12 lane cosmic bowling alley in Sri Lanka with 10 magnificent lanes for 10 pin bowling match for grown ups. And they have allocated two bumper bowling lanes for kids who are impatient to knock some pins down. When I visited, I saw there were groups that came with either family or friends. So if you want to do some bowling with your family or friends or you were thinking about it, this spot is quite ideal. And then we wrapped up with this place and headed off to the next area, which was actually the games zone. So let me take you guys over there. We didn't really immerse ourselves in the games over at the game zone but just let me run you through what their website says. So the website says that the game zone is a token game center. Within the four walls you can enjoy games from car rides, motorbikes, speed car races, team football, shooting, boxing, dancing and games of that nature. Next up, adjacent to the game zone area, we've got the shooting range by Gel Blaster Battlegrounds activity and I believe this goes as 800 per person. You can play this with a team of 10. We didn't really attempt this because you need a group of people but I'll show you all what the vibe here looks like in case you are inquisitive. Now that you've seen that area we are walking through and this is this basketball shoot area. And let me take you all through to the pool lounge. Just like the bowling alley area, the pool lounge is quite popular so there are frequent uh, regular visitors coming here with groups of friends and trying out pool here. I believe there are 8 or so pool tables here and you can pick one the price goes as rupees thousand per hour and there's maximum sharing for four people as you can see here if you want any help uh, the staff here will run you through on how to play this and that's what they were doing right now i don't think i've ever been properly run on how to play a proper pool game and actually attempted to play a good couple of rounds so this was my first time even though we missed a couple of rounds and didn't go uh, through it accurately we did give our best attempt and this was my first time actually immersing myself in this and it was pretty fun and i think if i continue to play this probably i'll get the hang of it more and yeah so once we wrapped up with this pool game we then headed off to probably the most nostalgic area of excel world and i believe you always share the same opinion as me and especially this place that we're going to right now adventurer Especially the pirate ship ride here was a ride that I used to love going on when I was small so I was excited to be back on it on this day and I was looking forward to it. If you're wondering about the lack of crowd it was mostly because it was a weekday on this particular day and added on to that it was raining 
and also it was the afternoon time mostly the crowd i think comes here during the night time especially during the weekends more than the weekdays but the lack of crowd meant that the pirates ship ride was not packed and we got it all to ourselves something i realized was that though the ups and downs of this ride was more so scary and exciting when i was small and being back on it i was just wasn't as scared of it and it didn't feel like it was going that high up but that just shows how your experience changes when you're small and when you grow up right now we are probably going to my favorite ride of the day and that is the bumper cars When I was small, I didn't really know how to drive myself around, so I was more so in the passenger seat and an adult would drive it. But coming back here at 22, I know how to get myself around. And it was so fun bumping into my friends and they were intentionally bumping into me as well. I mean, that's the whole point of this. And I never really wanted this ride to end. It was too fun and I'm definitely going back here at least for the bumper cars. So while I go a couple of rounds in my bumper car, let me just run you through what you can expect from the Adventura section here. So as you saw, we have the pirate ship, which is the one that I went on. Apart from that, uh, kids can enjoy horsebacks in the carousel and you can also enjoy a ride in the fancy train. And there's this particular one, which is a crowd favorite, the bumper car ride. So the prices for this, uh, each of the uh, games here comes with separate prices but you can also go for the packages that they have which goes from 1200 to 1400 and there's also the unlimited rights pass which goes for 2500 and with that we are done with actually the games and activities that I immerse myself for the day but this is a VR center the virtual reality arcade center I didn't go inside of that to show you guys and finally afterwards we were honestly so famished and wanted to get something to eat so we headed off to the snacks area there was this ice cream corner but without going for that we went to the cafe here this is called the bricklin coffee house and it serves an array of cakes bakes and coffees in this very uh, cozy setting So we got the sausage bun and the sausage puff, especially the drinks here were really good. I really enjoyed that. We got the caramel macchiato and the cookies and cream frappe or frappe. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but that drink was even better than the caramel macchiato. So you guys can maybe go for that when you visit. And yeah, with that, I'm going to be wrapping up this time's video. If you all enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more. And maybe follow me up on my socials for more behind the scenes. The links are down in the description box. And with that, I'll see you guys next time in my next video.